Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Heroes Treasure Cold Steel 2. Today, we're heading on into uh, Thor's Academy. Yeah, I am ready as I'll ever be. All you gotta do, as I've said before, make sure at least two of your party members have well, 200 CP. Back where it all started, Thor's Military Academy. A place where we went from strangers to classmates to friends. I've got so many memories, I wouldn't know where to start. <laughs> Same here. And here I was thinking I was too young to get nostalgic. This is our first time getting to see it since the Alliance took the capital. It's strange to think we were here only two months ago. Yeah. It feels like it's been way, way longer. The place where our class first began, where we first met, is right in front of us. And we're going to take it back. Let's go, everyone! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sweet! Let's do this! We just have some dinky-ass nobles to take care of. It shouldn't be that hard. Oh, is that Patrick? It is Patrick! And his little cronies, too. He must be the butler, and that's Ferris. I don't know who the guy in the back is on the right, though. You know, you would think for being a noble he'd have a better haircut than this. Yeah, well, here we are. What are you gonna do about us now? You're really bowing to us, seriously? Yeah, let's all just exchange pleasantries before I, you know, kill you! Yeah, you really gonna take on Eusis? He outranks all of you, except for maybe Patrick, but I kind of think that Eusis outranks him. Either that or they're just, like, equal. I guess, like, Eusis's house is the best in the east, or the highest in the east, and Patrick's house is the highest in the west, I think? I don't know. Um, seriously? We know our class better than anyone. Hell of a lot better than you do. Screw you, asshole. We've beaten you once before, we're gonna beat you again. Actually, we've beaten you multiple times before. And we'll easily, easily beat you again. Uh-oh. Yikes! But hey, awesome. And they should be. Oh. Great. Yeah. So, our little sneak attack got snuck up upon also. What are you wearing? What is on your head? Oh my god. You're supposed to be a noble and you're wearing some, like, straw hat? Like, give me a freaking break. And then they have a maid on their team. Like, seriously? Why would a maid and a butler, servants of the nobles, want to fight for the nobles? They should be on our side. They should be fighting against the nobles. Oh, this is... Vincent? Isn't this the guy that Margarita's like totally in love with? His hair is horrific. Why would she be in love with him? Um, no, that's okay. No one's showering you with anything. Maybe a golden shower. <laughs> if you don't know what that is, don't look it up. <laughs> oh, I'm horrible. Actually, I didn't know what it was until just a couple of years back, either. Not that I've ever experienced one, please don't think that. I just, um, was made aware of it. <laughs> uh. Um, actually, it really will be, Angelica. I mean, no problem at all. Mm, if you say so, they're too busy exchanging pleasantries. And everybody's weapon just kind of appears out of thin air. That's just lovely. They literally pull it out of their ass. Like, I just saw Ferris put her hand right on back there, and boom, this bow comes out of nowhere. Oh. Okay. And they didn't even give the butler a weapon. He just has to use his fists. He doesn't even have, like, brass knuckles on. He just has little white gloves. Yeah, why do we need to fight? Come on, now. Oh, you're doing this because you hate us. Um, I'll call you both 
Sounds good to me. You know, if the shoe fits, wear it. Then why are you doing this if you don't care about the Alliance or your father? Oh, you care about the past and social standing. Sure. Okay, that makes a whole hell of a lot of sense. Yikes. Um, actually, not really, he hasn't. If he thought long and hard about this, he'd be doing what's best for the Academy. And what he's doing right now is not best for the Academy. Locking up the principal and all these other instructors and everybody else, and going after other um, lower classmen. I mean, they're still all part of the Academy. They just happen to be, you know, lower class. Like, this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. Uh, can we just kill them already? Thank you! See, and at least we didn't pull our weapons out of our ass. We actually kind of had them there. Yikes! Whoa! Are those combat links? Huh. The Fields of Phonons? No, that's a different game. I thought that they were good friends. Why does she hate Elisa so much? Uh, don't worry. Maybe because it's just like a healthy rivalry in archery? I don't know. Oh, okay, so he's also on the little horseback riding club, because of Whitcomb. I was like, who the hell's Whitcomb? And then I remembered it was that horse that we had to go find. Um, yeah. Okay, not a problem. We will bring it on, bitch! Oh, they have combat links too, and a gun. Holy shit. Um, we'll see about that. It's just so weird to see Adele back there in that little gardener's hat. I know that she's part of, like, the little gardening club and everything, but she just looks absolutely ridiculous. Why would a noble be wearing a hat like that? This one's dangerous. Stay on your toes. Okay, Try so anyway, shot. let's do this. Basically, we're going to use all of our S-Crafts. That's it. Very simple. Seriously? Ask 
of our time. Let's go. Gotta agree with you, Sister. And Damn easy it. peasy. Certainly was. Finish that without even a scratch on me. Yeah, down on your knees where you belong. Yeah, of course we are. Was there really ever any doubt? Because you suck! You didn't even do anything. You didn't even get a turn. <laughs> What'd you expect? Um, you've been bested multiple times and proven wrong. You really didn't even give it your all. I mean, they have their combat links, but... You know, we have S-crafts that we can use any frickin' time that we want to. It's fine. You know, this reminds me of something else in the first game. I think that I brought it up, where um, we were fighting against somebody, and then they said, you know, if you want to prove me wrong, beat me in the fight, and then we did beat him in the fight, and we're like, oh, well, I guess I was wrong all along. And it doesn't make any sense. Just because you beat somebody in a fight doesn't mean that their position is wrong. It just means that you beat him in a fight. It just means that you're more powerful than them. I mean, their position could have been right all along, but you just happen to be stronger. Not that I'm saying that their position is right, I'm just trying to prove a point here. Oh, Yeah, let's all be friends! The power of friendship! And who are you? Ah, oh, it's, um, Makarov and the Principal Van Dyke? Van Dick? I don't know. Yeah, weren't they all locked up? So, let me get this straight. We beat Patrick and the locks that they were, or the rooms that they were locked in, just magically got unlocked? Like, what is that? That doesn't make any sense at all. So you weren't even locked up, you were just kind of inside watching. Oh. If that was the case, why didn't you guys, you know, come out and kick these nobles' asses before? Really? You're going to praise him? What's wrong with you? That's nice. I guess that's why he's uh, showering them with some praise. Uh... Maybe he's uh, not so bad after all. Watching the other battle. What are you guys talking about? Oh, all of you guys. Oh, and those other professors. Huh. Yeah, everybody's fine, I'm sure. Well, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, those overwhelming S-crafts. Can't wait to see you guys all on board the Courageous and then all the um, antics that Margarita's gonna go through to get her Vincent. <laughs> Although why she wants him is beyond me, but then again, who else could she possibly get? Mm, gotta agree with you there. Wow, who's here now? Man, like, everybody's here. Oh, high time you showed up, you useless. Ugh. Too bad you didn't come join us the first time. Oh, well, that's nice. It's a reunion. Old friends, old instructors. Hey, hey, I like it. Or youthful vin and vigor, we could say that too. Victor. He's so proud and stubborn. Like, let it go already. Oh, Reen's so kind-hearted. He's so sweet. Oh, what are you gonna do? Just take his hand. What's your problem? Uh, that was just like a little... I don't know practice run the first time. Yeah. 
he's not our equal. He really sucks. You know, put aside your pride for just a second and get up and join your friends. I mean, you haven't seen them in ages, and although you might not consider them, or at least him, your friend, you probably consider Eusis and Laura and some of the other nobles your friends. So what now? Liberation's complete? Can we just go and talk to everybody? Because Lord knows we're all going to have unique dialogue. Or no dialogue. There we go. Oh, good. Oh, sweet. Okay, I wanted to mention this before. President Herschel. If you remember, if you ever watched, and a lot of you guys didn't, but it is what it is. <laughs> if you watched Neyuda Endless Trails, Neyuda's last name was Herschel as well. So I'm assuming that that's some sort of um, a connection between Neyuda Endless Trails and um, this game as well through Toa. So that's pretty cool. I like it. The horned lion. Lions don't have horns. Hey! -hey. Party time! Excellent! Oh, everybody's getting along. The classes are mixing and ming mingling. I like it. Oh, and everybody from the uh, Courageous is here too. Including Margarita. Hey, your true love is here. <laughs> <laughs> we finally made it. Feels damn good to actually succeed in what we set out to do. We really have. We're here. All of us. It feels so good to know that Thors can finally be together as one again. That's right. But this isn't over yet. Our lives in Trista were simple, but full of happiness. We've taken back our home, and now it's time we take back our happiness. What? what? It was a long and difficult journey we were finally able to take back the academy we had longed to return to. The cheers and tears of joy continued well into the night. With every single one of us, commoner and noble, feeling an overwhelming sense of pride to be a student of Thor's military academy. What's more, our victory renewed our hope for the future. So long as we were united, we had the will to work towards putting things right at last. Sweet! And with that, that ends Act 2, The Awakening Lions, and we're going to move on and get tons of bonding points here. <laughs> Upper rank you go! Here's a bonus from the Academy. Wow! That must have been tough. I'm so proud of you, Reen! Well, we've gotten a lot accomplished. It looks like we've liberated Trista and all that kind of good stuff. We've finished Act 2, so next time on Let's Play The Lead to Years, Trails of Cold Steel 2, we're going to start up the finale. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.